Okay, everybody, we're back. Today's video is about prompt engineering and why I hate the idea of prompt engineering. I'm, I wrote a script, but for some reason today I cannot follow it, so I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> Subscribe, because 99% of you are not subscribed, and also buy my book, Seeking Squalor, Toilet Umbrellas and Champagne Chandeliers on Amazon. Prompt engineering is like learning how to crank start a car. It is a skill set that will very quickly stop meaning anything, stop being relevant. It would be like hiring somebody in the 1990s to Google for you because they've convinced you that Googling is something difficult. Like prompt engineering is at best a waste of time. At worst, it's a grift and it might actually set a dangerous precedent in human interactions with AI. AI is supposed to complement our existence. It is a computer. It's supposed to adapt to us. We should not be adapting to it. That doesn't make any sense. Think about the precedent this is setting because humans are so adaptable and that's not always a good thing. Humans will adapt to bad situations, to destructive or toxic situations. And that's exactly what's happening right now. There's a, a whole paradigm being instilled in concrete that you should speak to an AI, to an LLM in a way that human beings don't speak, in a way that's inhuman. The tragic irony that we will come all this distance and we will develop this incredible technology to help us to understand us to be our servant our helper, our assistant, the irony that we would then twist ourselves into a pretzel so that it can better understand us. No, 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 no. It will understand us while we speak to it in the way that we speak to other humans. And no other end result is, should even be considered. This is a bit of a principle, a uh, principled position for me. I think that the way that humanity interacts with AI has to be something that we are ahead of. I think AI is a wave and you can either get on the surfboard and you can surf the wave, in which case you're a little bit ahead of it. Surfers are basically free falling at the cusp of the wave. And that reckless control, that like sort of uh, managed danger is the actual safest place to be. What you don't want to do is to let the wave take you. What you don't want to do is fall. What you don't want to do is allow fear to determine your actions because then you're not going to want to go fast. You're not going to want to take a risk. But we no longer have that option as a species. We must rise to the occasion and we must consciously take active control of all our interactions with AI. And this is one of those instances. I am not, on principle, I am not going to change the way that I communicate so that the LLM, the non-human, doesn't have to meet me halfway. No, that will never be the case. Now, let me be clear about what I mean by prompt engineering. I'm not talking about writing clear and concise questions that are thoughtful and very specific and very detailed, that's the same thing you would do to a human being. I'm talking about writing questions in a way that trends away from how you would speak to a human being. These LLMs are becoming radically more advanced by the day. It is very unlikely that you will need prompt engineering in the near future, and already today, the supermajority of people and the supermajority of interactions don't require prompt engineering. You can just speak to it like a regular person and it will understand. And if it doesn't understand, it's smart enough to ask you fucking questions like a normal human being would. That's the whole point of this technology. It's, it, it needs to conform to us. If we are making efforts to conform to it, we are making a mistake and we need to uh, resist that mistake on principle. Furthermore, 
to all the people, all the grifters out there who are selling prompt engineering courses or who are convincing some client or some CEO that they should pay them a salary so that they can be the prompt engineer for the company, you are scumbags. And I hope that you're all fired in the very near future. You, you, what you're doing is you're convincing somebody that, well, why don't you let me Google how tall the Eiffel Tower is because you don't understand this technology and you can't do it. It's absurd. The notion that this exists, is it's, it's like becoming really good at crank starting a car. Guess what? They're going to invent the starter motor. Crank starting a car is not a legitimate skill set that anybody should spend their time learning and becoming really good at. It's not something that's going to be a career. It's not something that's going to continue as a valid uh, method of interaction with this technology. This technology is in its infancy, in the very near future, I think within the next five years, it will be so intelligent and it will understand human communication at such a nuanced level. And it will understand you, the individual, because at that point you've been using it for years. It will understand you and it will understand people so well that it will be almost impossible for it to misunderstand something you say. And in the very rare event that it does, it will immediately ask you clarifying follow-up questions. <laughs> so let's not get this twisted, all right? It's prompt engineering will very soon be obsolete. Shit, did I cover everything that I wanted to cover? Hmm. Oh, all right. I went to check my script because I thought that I had forgotten to say something. Apparently not. I covered everything. I just covered it much, much more quickly and aggressively than I intended to. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, that's everything. I think prompt engineering is a stupid idea. It's it's completely pointless as a skill set. The people who are selling courses or who are selling themselves as prompt engineers are grifters and they need to be immediately and aggressively disregarded. And for those of you who interact with the LLM and you don't exactly get the result that you're looking for, Prompt engineering is not the answer to that. Waiting for the LLM to understand you better, that is the answer. And that's a principled take that we as a society, as a species, we need to take. We need to have active control. We need to have our hands on the wheel at all times. And conforming the way that humans communicate with each other, conforming that, twisting that into a pretzel so that we can adhere to what works for the AI, that is us letting go of the wheel. And we are going to have countless opportunities to make this mistake in the coming decades, this mistake of letting go of control. We cannot do it. We must remain white knuckled on that wheel, driving the bus no matter what, even if it means that in the short term, you get slightly less useful results from your AI or that your interactions require a few more clarification prompts, that is a small price to pay. But we must die on the beach, on the hill of, we will not conform to it. It must conform to us. Anyway, subscribe down below and like the video and leave a comment, it really helps with the algorithm. And buy my book, Seeking Squalor, Toilet Umbrellas and Champagne Chandeliers on Amazon. Take care everybody, bye-bye.